Hi everyone. Today I'll be showing you a few tips on how to make use of the crinoline, also known as the hot hair, for all types of fabric, which comes in different sizes and qualities. Right here on my table, I have two types of crinoline: the soft one and the hard one, which comes in different size, from one inch to six inches. Also, I have the emmy clip here, which is used to stick the crinoline together if needed in a bigger measurement, also to make the surface of the fabric really smooth. So let's go to a sewing machine while I show you how to hem or how to sew the crinoline. So I'm about to show you how to sew your crinoline to a fabric this way. So now I'm done with the sewing. Next thing I'll do is to use the Emmy tape to attach it to this. Instead of me running the crinoline down, I'm going to use the Emmy tape to attach the crinoline to the fabric. Come along and let me show you how to do that. So after the sewing, I'm about to show you how I use the Emmy tape to hem the crinoline to the fabric. So the first thing I do is I properly iron it. Mind you, not too hot temperature. The temperature should be really warm. If not, it's going to burn the fabric, considering that it's a light texture. So after this is done, I fold it this way. I put my Emmy tape as much as I want. Press it down. Nice steam. I steam to the point where the Emmy tape itself disappears. That is, to the point whereby you don't get to see any traces of the Emmy tape on it at all. After doing that, this is what I have. Smooth, properly ironed. And the Emmy tape is quite invisible. You can hardly see it. So this way you don't need to run your stitches up here. Or you just use the Emmy tape to achieve that. The Emmy tape comes in two colors, the white, and I also have the black. So for your colored fabric, you can use the black. For non-colored that is not so necessary for the black to use, you put the white. After all, I've shown you on how to use your cooling the Emmy tape. These are a few things of what you can achieve with the crinoline on the Emmy tape as well. So right here, I have a flare with the crinoline instead of it. You can see I use the white crinoline here. And also with the Emmy tape to give it a smooth surface to attach it and stick it to the fabric. Also, I have this mini bow here. Looking at it, you'll know the bow is quite stiff because I have the crinoline also in it. You can also achieve your bow with the crinoline. This was a sample I was showing you when we were sewing. This is the straight fabric with the crinoline at the tip. This could serve as your M of a skirt, M of a dress, M of a wedding dress. Here is the flare as well, with the cooling at the tip. This is the 6 inches cooling at the tip. It can be used as a peplum, a rosette, a side train, even a flare at the bottom of the dress as well. Also, we have the cooling here at the tip of this dress. Because the fabric itself didn't come with lace edge. In situations where you do have fabrics with lace edge, I always use cooling to achieve a match finishing for the M. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe for videos.